most believers agree that we will be saved from God's wrath. You see, right before Jesus returns, the book of Revelation talks about how all of those who have followed the Antichrist will have plagues come upon them. They will be punished, and this is referred to as God's wrath. And the Bible clearly shows that God's people will be saved from that. So most believers largely agree on the second coming and that we will be saved from God's wrath. But the great divide and debate comes in with when the rapture will take place. The Bible teaches that before Jesus comes in his glory, those who follow Christ will be caught up to meet him in the air. And this is referred to as the great wedding banquet. And so when we are caught up to meet him in the air, there's going to be this great meeting, this great reunion of God's people, the believers who have died and the ones who are left on the earth when he comes. And after we have this reunion, then the Bible says that we will return to earth with Jesus to go to war against the Antichrist. So when does this rapture or this point of being caught up to meet him in the sky, when does that happen? Well, there are two main views. There's the pre-tribulation view and the post-tribulation view. Those who side with pre-tribulation believe that the rapture happens right at the start of the seven year period. And then we all will return with Christ at the end of it when he returns at the second coming. Now, those who side with the post-tribulation view believe that the followers of Christ will be here for the tribulation. They believe that we will face persecution by the Antichrist, but will be caught up or raptured right before God's wrath is poured out on the world. And then we will return with Christ at the second coming at the end to defeat the Antichrist. So no matter which view you side with, both views do agree that at the second coming, Jesus is not going to float down to earth playing a harp. And neither will you. At the second coming, Jesus is coming back as the warrior, king of kings. And you also will be a warrior. The second coming will be the ultimate battle of good versus evil. And Jesus is a king who rides first into battle. So yeah, Jesus, he, he is not a softy. Yeah, they put a crown of thorns on his head, but he is returning with a crown of gold as a fierce king. And when he returns, the world will see who he is. But there is so much more to be said. You see, when the Antichrist comes, the entire world will be mesmerized. They will be convinced that he is some type of an extraterrestrial God and Satan will be behind the whole thing. The Antichrist will promise people wealth. He will promise people happiness. All they will have to do is just worship him and take his mark and he's going to say you can have whatever you want. He's going to lead the world into deception. And so there's a lot more in the scripture about what the Antichrist will do. And that is what we're going to talk about in the next episode. Stay tuned.